Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. Grab yourself something hot or cold to drink, whatever you might like to have. Open your Bible up. Sit here at the table. I've got a seat saved just for you. And we're going to look today at Psalm 112, verses 9 and 10. Verses 9 and 10 today. And this will close out Psalm 112. Now, we've talked about the blessed man, what his blessing looks like, how how the blessing influences his affairs, how it gives him confidence in evil times and amongst evil people. And then today we're going to see something about his giving. His giving. Now, you put your hand over your wallet because I'm going to talk about money, (laughs) but the Bible has a lot to say about money and how we should use it and how we should treat it. So we just hang on with me because this is an important subject and it's a part of It's a part of the blessing that comes to the man that fears the Lord and greatly desires or delights in his commandments. All right, so let me read the two verses, 9 and 10. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. All right, so it says, He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. Now, we talked about giving a little bit up there in um, uh, in verse 5, also in verse 3. We talked a little bit about the money uh, there in verse 3. Wealth and riches are in his house, his righteousness. And we, you know, the wealth and riches described by righteousness in the B line of the couplet that righteousness then tells us what the wealth and the riches are. It's the wealth and the riches that he gets from, you know, following the Lord. It's the it's the meat and the honey that comes, you know, to the child of God. Now in five he says, A good man shows favor and lends, he guides his affairs with discretion. So he's able to, with discretion, handle his money because, you know, when it says his affairs, well, he's, it's talking about, you know, all of his interactions with the world, everything that he's doing, his walk, his conversation, if you will, with the world. So he's doing that. And then we come down here in nine, he's dispersed, he's given to the poor. So now it's not lending, but it's just giving. He's given to the poor. And you remember what Solomon said in Proverbs, the man that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. So this is an important piece of our actual, you know, lifestyle. We are to be givers. We're to be giving. We're to be generous with our giving. And we're to be discreet in the use of our money so that we honor the Lord even with that. That gold and that silver is tainted by the corruption of the hands that bear it. But ladies and gentlemen, when we dedicate it to the Lord and give it to him by giving it, giving it to those in need, and by giving it to the missionaries that go out into the field and all you know, all the rest, the upkeep of our churches and the the promotion of the gospel and the education of ministers and missionaries and all the rest. That kind of thing, that kind of giving is blessed. And it comes out of the heart of a man that's been blessed by God. So then we really see that wealth and riches are in his house because he gives to the poor. Now there's something else I want to point out here real quick before I'm out of time, and that is his righteousness endures forever. That phrase, we've seen it twice in this psalm, and we also saw it in a little bit different form there in 6. The righteous shall be an everlasting remembrance. His righteousness endures forever. And we only have it one time in Psalm 111 when it talks about the Lord talks about his righteousness enduring forever, but it's only once. Here we have it twice. And the reason why I think it's emphasized here, perhaps three times if you accept 6b as part of that, the reason why we have it so often is because it's emphasizing the fact that it's not our righteousness. This is a reflection of God's person and character coming through the believer. So 
When you give to the poor, it is an expression of God's care for them. Now the wicked, it says there in 10, the wicked shall see it. What, what are they going to see? Well, they're going to see all of this. It's not just that his horn is exalted and that's what the wicked see. No, the wicked see the blessing. The wicked see the giving, the lending, the discretion, the conducting of the affairs with discretion, the trust, the heart that's anchored in God's word and trusts in the Lord. Yeah, he sees all of that and he's grieved. Why? Because that's what he wants. He wants that. He wants that for himself, for his posterity, for his generations to come. But he doesn't have it because he's not called on the Lord yet. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Doesn't that just remind you of Psalm 1? We started off with Psalm 1. Let's end with Psalm 1. Listen to the way the Lord talks about the wicked in Psalm 1. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And here we have it again. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Hmm. So the blessed man is the man that prospers, and the wicked man is the one that perishes. Well, I hope that you're trusting in the Lord. And if you're not, I hope that you'll consider calling on him today. Call on him. Ask him to forgive you of your sins, to give you wisdom, knowledge, discretion. Humble yourself before him today and seek him. Seek him right now, for today is the day of salvation. Well, join me again next week, and we're going to look at Psalm 113, the grand person of God, here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.